and welcome back to Norfolk. I've very kindly been asked to give my unbiased thoughts on the Trekmates Squall Hooped Bivvy. Initial thoughts are, it does look very well made. The tape seam seals and the stitching look excellent. We'll definitely replace these pegs. They are awkward to remove, not to mention painful. The zips are precise and have an easy action. There's tons of room in here, but that's compared to other bivvies mind. The floor is made of a tough material, feels very robust. Hydrostatic head is 10,000. The inner mesh door is a very fine material. Feels tough though. Visibility is great and it's definitely midge proof. This rear air vent is a very welcome feature. Good airflow is crucial in single skin shelters. Here are the manufacturer's specifications. You may want to pause here. Enough of all the stats now. I will bring you back somewhere more photogenic. Superman has his fortress of solitude. Batman has his cave. I have Owlwood. Can't think of a better place to try out a new kit. I was beginning to wonder what was spooking the fish. That's a great crested grebe. Looks like it's hungry too. Bring you all back in the morning. Good morning from our wood. The bivvy performed exceptionally. Despite its budget price point, this is a very well thought out piece of kit. The air vent system really does seem to do its job. You can never fully close the front door, but it's fully protected by this hood. I swapped the pegs for these from Terra Nova, a lot easier on the hands. I did hope it would rain last night so I could highlight the waterproof capabilities. Sadly, no. Here's a rain test from home using the bin lids and uh, a hose. So in conclusion, this is a superb piece of kit for the money. And when you factor in variables such as price, it's up there amongst the best of them, recommended. <laughs>